And when you ask for help, we answer the call. Here are some examples of how RTV6 is working for you. Some east side residents say their complaints about a lingering water leak aren't being heard. The leak was brought to our attention by Bobby Boggs. He lives a half a block away from the origin of the leak, but says he's concerned about potential damage that the leak may be causing. As we know, that's how sinkholes occur. According to Citizens Energy, barring some emergency water break, this leak will be fixed tomorrow. RTV6 headed back out to that neighborhood today. We found the leak had been fixed by Citizens Energy Group. An Indianapolis couple has been battling to get the grass across from their home cut and maintained. For the last 12 years, Donna Beverly has kept a diary of every call she's made for help. And our last resort was calling Channel 6. Her husband, Mike, has just about had it. It's a disgrace. After making numerous calls to the mayor's action line, he's learned the property is managed by two departments, NDOT on the side of the fence that is closest to the interstate, and the city of Indianapolis on the side facing his home. NDOT tells RTV6 state contractors mow the grass up to 15 feet from the interstate. What grows beyond the fence line or obstructs a city sidewalk, NDOT says that is supposed to be maintained by the city of Indianapolis. DPW responded to RTV6's questions about the out-of-control grass. They say the wet weather has slowed down down their mowing efforts, but say they do have plans to mow the area soon. We will keep following this story and let you know when that work gets done.